name's Chester Elliott. Uh, we're here in the warehouse of Peck Electric in South Burlington, Vermont. Um, I am the solar O&M manager. My name's Calvin Aham. I'm from Salisbury, Massachusetts. I'm living in Burlington, Vermont now. I'm a solar installer one for Solar City DVA Tesla. Peck Electric is a general electric contractor that solar is a big segment of our business nowadays. We started in the 70s uh, and we helped IBM build their infrastructure um, as, as they were growing. Right as the Pennsylvania solar boom started to die, the Vermont Solar Incentive Program, which, which was structured in a better way, um, really started to become a success and more solar was getting put in here. One third of our electrical power here in Vermont was supplied by Vermont Yankee Nuclear. At the time, of course, proponents of nuclear energy and Vermont Yankee itself kept saying over and over again, well, you know, if we shut down Vermont Yankee, then the electrical prices are going to go through the roof and we're going to have a scarcity of electricity and Vermonters are going to suffer. And of course, none of that happened. Vermont, with its high mountains, valleys, rivers, very uneven topography. Uh, it's not such a great place to source uh, wind energy. Solar, surprisingly, is actually pretty good in Vermont, even though we're not a super sunny state. Something that was motivating a lot of Vermonters um, now is the release of AC Powerwall 2 through Tesla, which is a whole home backup. And there are a lot of people that are living in remote areas here in Vermont, and if there's a power outage, some of these people can be you know, days without energy. So the, the AC power wall, they're able to store um, energy, whether it's from the grid or ideally from a solar, um, a solar array on the roof. They can create their own energy, store it, and never be without energy. Vermont is a small, small state, and we're, we're installing solar like Vermont style. Our electricity in the summer is coming from solar nowadays. There's there's so much solar getting fed into it and not enough load at those times of the day and not enough places to easily push the power to that you'll see grid voltage will go high and then the solar systems will turn off. In terms of the carbon emissions from solar, it's definitely far less than what you would be investing in with fossil fuels simply because um, the main source of carbon, carbon emissions from solar are coming from the factories that are producing the panels and then the travel from, you know, just bringing the panels from the factory to the warehouse and the warehouse to uh, the site. But relative to what uh, coal and natural gas and oil, it's significantly less. People want to get away from fossil fuels, you know, from a philosophical perspective, but for the average family, you, you can't do it if it's gonna cost you a whole lot of money. And so, in most cases, it's, it's structured in such a way that it saves people money. So you'll have people looking at their their solar monitoring systems and realizing, okay, I made five kilowatt hours uh, today, and it wasn't even that sunny of a day. That's amazing. I just made enough power to run my fridge like uh, for the next two days. Kilowatt hours saved is just as good as a kilowatt hour produced. It makes it easier for people to be connected to their the source of their electricity for, for sure. It makes sense to try to invest in solar as we go as we move forward in the future and especially now with being able to harness that energy in the battery packs, the AC power walls, it's starting to make more and more sense because now we can store that energy rather than have it need to be made and then used right off the bat. Green Mountain Power is doing some awesome storage projects um, south of here, like Addison County. They're putting in um, big banks of uh, maybe Tesla Power Walls or Power Packs or or other manufacturer storage solutions, but they're definitely seeing that as 
one thing that needs to be paired with solar in the future to continue growing.